arthroscopy with photostimulated and post-derived stromovascular fraction using the one-step technique for the treatment of mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis, which is characterized by articular cartilage degeneration, synovial inflammation and subchondral bone thickening affecting the synovial joints as an organ, leads to pain and disability. Orthobiologics, the use of biologic materials in orthopedics, has increased in popularity in the recent years. Treatment with autologside post-derived stromovascular fraction is safe and relieves pain, improves function, and repairs cartilage defects in patients with osteoarthritis. Centurion developed the selective tissue engineering photostimulation technique, the one-step technique, with favorable results in preserving adipocytes, preserving and stimulating mesenchymal stem cells and its phenotype quality. Our goal is to describe step by step the arthroscopic treatment of mild to moderate neosteoarthritis with the photostimulated stromovascular fraction harvested from the thigh using the one step technique. The surgical technique begins with the patient anesthetized with spinal anesthesia. The patient is positioned in the supine position with the legs in external rotation for harvesting of autologous stromovascular fraction from the medial thigh, asepsis and antisepsis of the lower limbs, and placement of the surgical drapes is performed. Then, the pneumatic tourniquet is positioned on the proximal thigh. The surgeon draws the limits of the thigh where the SVF will be collected. The medial epicondylate is identified and two lines are drawn one in the anterolateral and other in the posterior medial direction. Harvesting procedure begins with infiltration of 100 ml of a solution composed by 1000 ml of saline solution and 1 ml of 1 to 2000 epinephrine in the deepest layer of subcutaneous tissue in the ipsilateral inner thigh, which was previously marked. The surgeon must wait around 15 minutes while the solution takes effect. A 1210 nanometer laser catheter is gently inserted into the medial thigh subcutaneous tissue. A helium neon red light is positioned in the extremity of the laser catheter to facilitate the guidance of the laser through the subcutaneous tissue. Forward and backward movements are performed to let the laser dissolve the connective tissue and release the parenchyma and stroma. The thumb and the index finger help guiding the catheter in the right and safe direction without angulating it down to the deeper layers of the thigh. The procedure is repeated as many times as needed, considering the end point as the tissue resistance. Then, the liposuction cannula is attached to a 50 ml syringe, pulling back the syringe plunger and using a locking system to maintain the vacuum throughout the harvesting process. Forward and backward movements are repeated to obtain around 40 ml of subcutaneous tissue in the end of the process. Beware not to change the direction of the cannula out of the subcutaneous tissue to avoid vascular lesions. The aspirated tissue is divided into four 10 ml falcon tubes. The first centrifugation is performed at 800 times G for 5 minutes. The infranatant solution is discarded from the tubes, which are completed with saline solution. Then, the second centrifugation is performed at 700 times G for 5 minutes. The pellet photostimulated SVF is collected in a single syringe and is ready for infiltration. Neartroscopy begins with an articular toilet when the generative meniscal tears are debrided and cartilage fragments remove it. A single use brachinesthesia nigel attached to a syringe is used to inject the SVF into the knee joint. In conclusion, Neartroscopy associated with injection of SVF obtained by the one-step technique is a simple and feasible procedure with minimum risk of adverse events. The thigh laser-assisted subcutaneous tissue harvesting can be performed by the orthopedic surgeon and provides an adequate amount of SVF for the treatment of mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis. Thank you.